have you guys ever felt like you couldn't win for losing? Like, some people may not understand what that means. They're like, you ever felt like you just couldn't win for losing? Like, for every time you lost, you know that something good just had to happen. And it just don't. That's the way I've been feeling ever since I lost my job. You know, this is all real. ADS Play 101. Um, you know, it was one of these videos again. I mean, it's always interesting to get this shit off my chest. And I thank you people. Y'all help. I see the comments that y'all leave. And, you know, it's helpful, you know. But I still got to talk about it, get it off my chest. I think it's helpful and shit. Because I don't really have people I can, like, talk to that are, like, understand and shit. And it's sad to say that I got to come to the damn internet for that. Take this damn hoodie down. The zipper down. But, um, yeah, mostly I don't know who been paying attention to these videos. I've been kind of down and shit on my... Oh, like, oh my luck, there's something on the screen. Um, since I lost my job and shit, because, you know, I, I, I don't dwell on it too much. I mean, and it's like, I'm looking for a means to... to financially put myself in a better position. You know, financially. I'm looking to put myself in a better position financially, excuse me, and I'm hoping that YouTube is it, man, because I don't, like, I've been doing this since uh, 2006, you know, you take that back, that's like what, um, I don't know, you guys do the math for me, I'm, my mind is just like not there right now, so, like normally I could just calculate something like that, but I haven't been able to, to think straight all day people coming by looking weird, but, uh, but yeah, man, it's just, like, it's been over, I would say, like, it's been, like, a good, uh, uh, like, what, like, 11 years, like, six, seven years since I created that channel, that, uh, your YouTube channel, um, this YouTube channel, excuse me. Yeah, it's been 11 years six, since then, uh, June of 2018 to make it 12. Um, but yeah, man, it's just, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I never thought I'd make it this far, but it's not enough to make me see, like, any light at the end of the tunnel. The, the downside to this whole thing is, is that I know I can do better, but by me knowing that, it kind of stresses me out even more because I know that if I can just reach the right people, which I clearly have not been able to do, well, forgive me if the light source is going in and out, but it's, it's bad right now. Um, it's like I can't reach the right, the, the correct people, and it's like I got my hand on it, but I just can't feel where to go with it. It's, and, and, and that's the stressful part. It's like, how do I break in? Like, how do I break that? Somebody come out here. No, I'm like, how do I break it? Let's cross the street. How do I grasp that that hold on that promoter or that person that can take this channel to the next level to where I can get like where I want to be financially and, you know, as well with notoriety, because it's, it's crazy to me that I can't, like, I know I can do it, I know I got the drive, I know I got the, the personality, I know I got, the, you know, I, I, it's only two or three things I can tell you that that's, that's holding me back, one is technology, the hardware is not going to hold the programs that I need in order to be interactive with the viewers during my live streams as I want to be. You know, I have like little games and everything, little widgets and things like that that I have that's set up to, I might as well just hold it like this, have the viewers have fun while I'm playing the game so that you guys won't be sitting around bored just watching me like you can have fun at my expense or y'all can even just join the lobby at that y'all can join the lobby just jump in the lobby with me have some matches you know what I mean? like little things like that like y'all can do that um but not enough people know that i exist 
two is the viewership. Excuse me. I am kind of sick. But uh, two is the viewership. It's like I have, like, last time I checked, I have 1,900... And 75 subscribers. I know it went up since then because I got like quite a few subscribers. And the subscriber count, the, the, the subscriber count is keep, uh, keep going up, which I'm happy about. But it's like the subscribers at the end of the day, like you subscribing to the channel doesn't really mean anything if you're not coming back to view the content. You know what I mean? It's like it's no way possible, no way possible logically. You know, let's think about this. If, if somebody has damn near 2,000 subscribers. Because by the like before the year is over, I'm gonna have like 2,000 subscribers, right? There's no way that a person with damn near 2,000 subscribers is averaging like six views per video. You know that's that's stupid to me. You know, and I know some of those uh, subscribers, they came from like people just like they liked the content, they subbed, but they never came back. You know what I mean? Or some of those people may have came from the time when I was doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content uh, on this channel, um, which is on ADS Play Cards in 2018, you know, for those who care, I will be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content, but it's going to be only on that channel. So, ADS Play Cards, one word. Um, but it's just not, you know, between the hardware... The viewership, people not you know, sharing the videos and not coming back, or maybe their attention just may be elsewhere. You know, I, I did the Patreon. Um, you know, I have like the donation links and all that, hoping that maybe you know, all those years ago, the people that said that they wanted to donate, you know, they got the chance to now. And I'm just like, where are they? You know, I feel like I was bamboozled, but but it's not about the money. It's really about like, because if if I was getting enough viewership. And enough notoriety, I would I would be able. And there's no reason why, with the amount of subs I have, that's the potential amount of views. You know what I mean? And like, if you like the content, come back. You know, I do live streams every single day, every single day. You know what I mean? And it's just I need the right people. I need to get in touch with the right people in order to really get my name out there. But who 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 who, who do I do that with? Like, who do I contact? Like, who do I, you know, how do I reach that wide audience? Like, I have an idea, you know, going to a convention, passing out my business cards, possibly getting a panel. That can help with the viewership. That can help with bringing attention. And I know I can just take, you know, uh, do my part from there by um, ensuring that I present my channel in a, in, a, in a good way that makes people want to come check it out. And I can have enough content on there that not only has people interested in coming back for more but you can sit there and you can have fun with me you're not just sitting there just watching me during the live stream you know I'll, I'll create a, a lobby for the viewers to come in there and you know join up and we can just have matches have fun you know talk our shit you know whatever you know I'm just not getting enough people I don't know if the alert not going out when, when I live stream or if something just not I don't know Something's not clicking. Something's not clicking. And I'm... I'm just trying to figure out what it is. And let me just say this. Like, I had a talk with some family members. Uh, well, talk with one of our closer... He was, like, the only person I could... I know I said I didn't have, really have people I could talk to. But my cousin, like, we, we've been, like, friends since, like, little kids. It was, it was me, him, and then our, our other cousin was back in Louisiana. Like, we were, like this, like we were super, super tight, so when it comes to having people that understand where I'm coming from, like he's one of the few, I'm talking about you can count them on one hand, like he's one of the few people I can talk to that actually get it, you know, so he, by me speaking to him and just talking about like little stupid shit, like he kind of put me in better spirits than I was, because I was feeling like down and depressed and all that, man, and I appreciate that, but, um, but yeah, it was uh, definitely uh, a positive energy that made me, that if it wasn't for that, I'd be doing this blog in such a 
more negative um, energy, and I, you know, I don't like bringing negativity to this channel, not by any means. So, you know, I just need the right situation right now. And 2018 is coming up. Like I said, the World Warriors Collective, my esports team, which I'm the sole member of at the moment. I'm taking that brand and I'm going to every, every tournament that I can go to, um, you know, to, for me, I feel like I'm playing catch up because I always wanted to be a part of the tournament scene, but with me being from Louisiana, of course, I just never had that opportunity to, to go anywhere because Louisiana doesn't have a tournament scene out there, so. I feel like I'm playing a tournament to show people how nice I am, and I feel like my name can ring bells out there. You know, unfortunately, you know, I'm, I'm starting so late because of my situation. You know, uh, uh, my environment didn't have what I needed to in order to make that happen. But, you know, like, it's still fine. Um, <sighs> other than that, man, I'm just... You know, I'm just trying to... Um, make the best out of a bad situation, man, because the way I was feeling, like, there's light at the end of, end of the tunnel now, like, it was a time, like, literally, this week where I was getting so fucking worried that I might get kicked out, because at first I didn't have my share of the rent and things like that, I mean, I have it now, but it's just, you know, it was a depressing feeling, and it's like, if I could just get myself back in the position of, um, of being positive about things, because I was going to quit YouTube, I really was, but I'm really not, because at, at the end of the day, it's like, as much as I, as, mu as much as I, um, like YouTube, as much as I don't like the fact that I gotta, I'm fighting so hard just to get, the, it's like, I, I can't reach the right people, you know what I mean, and I don't know how to reach the right people. And I don't even know how to Google search. Like, I don't know what the hell I got to do to reach the right people in order to get this channel to where I don't need to get it. I mean, I appreciate the the ones that do come back and view the content and they spend time with me during the live streams. I play Smite, Street Fighter 4, Tekken 7, primarily fighting games. But I play MMOs too. And I'm just looking at this like, I really want this to work. Because... I've been doing this since 2006. That's 11 years ago. I was 17 when I started this channel. I, I say I, I was like 16, 16. I was like 16 or 17 when I first started this channel. And um, you know, it wasn't until I was let me see, 20 what? So I was like 25. This dog almost got hit by a car. But yeah, it was like I, I wasn't. It wasn't until I was like 20, 24, 25 when I started making money on YouTube. When I even thought that I could make money with it, you know, because the right people just reached me, you know. And I'm, I'm trying to read. I don't know. I guess this. I don't know. And it wasn't even a good situation. It was just like they showed me the potential that what could happen because that was like a bad deal, you know on the gaming network, for those that remember, I used to be with them, the customer service is bad, I wasn't getting any, I wasn't getting anything from it, um, and even with me being with Machinima, I'm like, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position to, to grow, uh, that I would say is better than where I was, but it's like, what do I have to do on my end to make that happen, like, I'm just... Like, I'm pulling, I'm grasping at straws here. I'm trying to, you know, like, what the fuck do I need to do? Like, because I don't want to be, like, right now I'm 28. I'm not trying to be, like, 30 years old still trying to make it on YouTube. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? And if, with the way my mind, my mind thinks is that I'm always thinking ahead. I'm always 200 steps ahead. And it's like, I feel like I'm going to turn 30. I, I kind of feel like I'm going to turn, like, 40 my next birthday. That's, that, that's just the state my mind is in. 
Like, I'm only 28, but I feel like I'm going to turn 40 my next birthday, you know what I mean? And it's ridiculous that I feel that way, but it's like, I, it's like, man, if I, I would have known about what I know, then I probably would have been able to make something on my channel by now. But, uh, <sighs> like, I just need, like, one of those magic wands, just boop, <laughs> like, just hit me with some good luck to, to get the attention that I need, because... I see myself in a, in a good position. I see myself in a positive financial gaining position from me doing this. And even if I said, like, and this is how I know, like, I'm a gamer at heart. Like, this is just me. I've been playing games since the Atari 2600. Video games is my escape. Like, when people told me I wouldn't have got as far as I've gotten on YouTube, I was still doing it. When I was young and I was playing video games and... You know, I'm a 90s baby, so when we were going to school and we played video games and things like that, unless it was a sports game or something, you know, people always called you nerd and you had to fight in school. I'm one of those people. So, I, you know, went through a lot just for me playing video games and shit. So, it's not easy for me to just give this up, you know what I mean? Like, this, is, this has been me. This is where I belong, you know what I mean? When I played my first video game, you know, it was, it was Activision Rodeo, or was it Pac-Man, I don't know, it was on the Atari 2600, I know that for sure, but when I, when I was beating my first video game, let me say that, um, you know, like Sonic the Hedgehog, that's, that was the first video game that I actually beat, you know, and actually, it was, pro it was probably Shining Force, no, it was Streets of, dude, it, it's a lot of games I play. I was gonna say Streets of Rage, Shining Force, uh, Shinobi, um, Shining Force 2, uh, fucking, even with games like Grandia 2, like, it's just so many games that I beat when I had a young age, it was like, video games that a person my age should not be beaten, you know what I mean, I was ahead of my time, and it's just like, even if I said I quit YouTube and, and everything like that, I'll make myself out look like a liar, because I'll be uploading video game footage to the channel the very next day, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, it's just, it's just in me. You know, like, it's just in me. It's just a part of who I am, and I want this to work out so damn bad, but who the fuck do I talk to to get to that level to where I need to be? And I, I'm grinding. I got t-shirts for sale, War, the World Warriors Collective Esports t-shirts for the fans that want to support. Um, we get you one of these cool t-shirts. I got new designs coming in 2018. Um, I'm not going to say what the designs are, but it's going to represent you for sure. Um, I got that coming. I got... Dude, just know that it's a lot. It's a lot. And I need new hardware and new equipment. So to the people out there that want to donate, you know, tell your friends about the channel. I'm really trying. I'm struggling right now to get the equipment that I need in order to get the channel to where I, I, it needs to be. And I just need that, that support from you guys, that financial support, that financial backing, you know. And that's the reason why I created the reward system on Patreon. I'd rather you donate on there rather than just give me $5, because that way you can get more out of it, you know what I mean, like, I, I want this to really work, I want this to work, and I, I need to be able to buy the things that I need to, 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 to get there, like, I don't, I don't know, dude, like, I, it's just a combination of things, I know the hardware for sure, because if I can't live stream with the, with the widgets and things like that, and my computer can't handle, can't even handle the programs, it's lagging and things like that, then that's a problem, and I don't, It's like you were meant to achieve something great, but it's like, ugh, like, you just can't put your finger on what the hell it is. And I'm just, I'm really trying to make that happen. And I really need y'all help, man. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, come back, join the live streams, etc., etc. Because I got something big planned for New Year's. I'm going to just be, I live streamed into the New Year last year. Last year, I, I, back when I was still doing Yu-Gi-Oh! content, I dueled into the New Year. You know, I won't be able to do that this year on ADS Play Cards. I won't be able to do that. But I'm live streaming because this is a gaming channel. If you want the Yu-Gi-Oh! content, go to ADS Play Cards. Um, I'm, I'm starting that up in January. So, that's it, man. That's my... Got, got that shit off my chest for the, for, for the, for the day. Um, I'm going to say it again. Patreon.com slash... ADS Play 101, check it out, check out the rewards program, support your boy, um, help me get the equipment that I need, you know, because I, I need it, this laptop is, yeah, like it's at that point, like I can't do any, any more than I'm doing with the laptop right now, 
You know, like it's just not possible. The, the, the laptop is not built for what I'm trying to do with it. You know, it, it won't run the programs or nothing like that. I need uh, a new laptop that can handle it. I, I need a new gaming laptop. You know, because that one isn't a gaming laptop. I, I need me like a real gaming laptop to do it, to do what I need to do. Uh, and do it successfully and of a quality that is befitting of your viewership. Let me say it like that. Uh, the t-shirts are out now. You know, teespring.com slash World Warriors Collective. That's collective without it, without an E. Um, you know, ADS Play 101 is the channel. Uh, you guys can check out my Twitch channel, ADS Play 101. You know, um, yeah, man, I'm just pushing you. Join me on Twitter, ADSplay101, all one word, no hyphen. Uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. You know, 2018, I'm, I, I'm fighting. I'm fighting to make this work. And I need your help. And I really need your help, man. So do I have your help? Can I expect you guys to... You know, join the live streams at the very least. I'm not asking for much, but join the live stream. Why am I begging for that though? But like, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, check out the content, join the live streams. I got a lot of stuff coming out in 2018. Uh, I have an, an event planned for 2000 uh, uh, going into the new year, so you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, man, I just hope I get to hang out with you guys during the new year. And, and, and until then, uh, I'll see you guys then. Peace, and uh, thank you for, for listening.